Hello, everybody. Anime Reflux. Hello. Ray. We watched or, something very different this week. It was good. Or should I say, hey, you guys, we's doing the anime refluxes. Oh, God, was that what the dub was like? It was That's pretty more... fucking great. <laughs> really? Okay, I, I, I believe you now that I missed out. That sounds delightful. Yeah, yeah. they went all in on that kind of stuff and it was great multiple okay. different accents for various places including legit italians for the old generation it was cool as shit all right looks like i'm switching to <clears throat> switching oh yeah. yeah it's pretty fucking good so the anime this week was 91 days <clears throat> which is an anime set in the Prohibition era of the United States, which is very weird for an anime. Um, yeah, it is. And... Almost as weird as, like, the 1800s in France, but we ain't talk about that one. Yeah. So, this is a revenge plot that may or may not be a true story. It implied as much in the uh, first episode's opening credits. Like, it said, story by the Vanetti family. So, I'm not sure. Like, I tried looking it up, and I got nothing back except for stuff about 91 days, so... We don't know. Yeah. Could be, could not be. Who knows? Uh, so, I watched all of this show. Like, uh, what was it, two weeks ago that we did Plastic Memories? I think, uh, I think so. Yeah. Um, and that one was really good too, but that one was also such a fucking downer and also kind of weird in what it was actually going for because it was like, hey, it's just like romance and blah, 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 and then hit you with some really deep, heavy themes. So it was a little all over the place, and I wasn't really in the mood for it. For this show, I was like halfway through my day, because like fucking hours are weird. Um, I was like, okay, I'll watch the anime for the thing, and then I'll play Yakuza 0, because I'm in that kind of mood for like crime time stories. And then I watched the first episode of this, and I was like, oh, right. This is also a crime time story, and it's pretty good, and the dub rocks. Um, okay, I guess I'm watching the show now, and that's how that turned out, and I watched the entire thing in one sitting. I mean, there are worse ways to transfer your day into. <laughs> yeah. It's only 12 episodes, so it's pretty brief, which is quite possibly one of my main complaints, really, but we'll, we'll get to that. Hey, listen. If it leaves you want, if it if it leaves you wanting more, did it right. It, this is true. Not not in this sense. Not in this sense. I'd say. Oh, wow. I haven't seen it all yet, so I don't know. Yeah. Um. So. This, as I said, this is a uh, revenge plot, uh, set in like mafia style scenario uh, with. Uh, there's these little kids, and there's two, I think, brothers. I couldn't tell whether one of them was a girl, but it doesn't matter because they're not in the rest of the show. <clears throat> it's a girl, yeah. Uh, I think it might have been a boy, actually, based on later episodes. Um, and they're, uh doing this thing because it's the 20s and there's no television yet that uh they're trying to like one of them the older brother is trying to show the little brother hey you can stuff out a candle with your fingers because the wick isn't hot it's just the paraffin wax I'm uh, sure that's a metaphor or something no it's a thing that they're setting up because they use it later in the show was that in the first episode? I don't remember. I don't remember when the, the first episode ended. The After the gunfight in the bar. Yeah, we used them. Yeah. It, the yeah. paraffin wax. Yeah. Um, 
so the kid that isn't part of this particular family uh, tries to do it, was talking a big game, and they just didn't kind of want to do it because he was twitchy and nervous. And the older brother just goes in at the last second, just goes, puts it out. And little brother is like, ah! Because, you know, little kids are easy to impress. It's fun. Especially um, in the 20s without TV. Yeah. <laughs> uh, try that shit nowadays. They'll be like, fuck off, give me my tablet. Uh, uh, yeah, so... They're uh, waiting to welcome their dad home because it's some sort of celebration, someone's birthday. Uh, friend of the family, kid, goes home. Uh, Corteo is his name. Uh, it's implied the mom actually gives him money for his family. Cause, so he's he's poor, basically. It's just him yeah. and his mom. And she's very ill. So he bikes home and sees uh, the dad of the family driving back. In his and they, Ford and they Model wave 3. at each other, so this is yeah. probably a usual thing. Yeah, they know each other. And then out of the shadows, in a little alleyway, well, not alleyway because it's a forest, but side road. Uh, which yeah, is dangerous in a model T. They could have gotten their car stuck, which would have been hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That would be an interesting ending to the show. It was like the 1910s. No one knew how cars and terrain worked back then. I don't know how true or untrue that is. I'm just saying. You can, uh, you can safely assume that. Yeah. So, a uh, car comes out of this uh, side road and follows the other dude. Uh, and back in the house, the little kids are waiting to surprise their dad who comes home uh, and they're like all excited and the dad's like oh where are they I'll have to find them and then there's a knock at the door and it's I was going to make a hired goons joke but it's not hired goons it is the head of the family of the mafia family that this guy works for I say head of the family, I mean new head of the family, because there's a shake-up in uh, some uh, of the power structure of this place. And Dad needs to go spend some time with the fishes and catch up on some sleep and such, and metaphors of death and murder. So, yeah, they... They kill him, and also his wife, and because the little, little kid, who's like four years old, panics, runs out, and the mum begs for his life, and they kill him anyway. So... Cause they're, cause they're Do like, they kill yeah. the kid, too? Because you yeah, mentioned they kill, they, they kill him, too, because like, yeah, uh, he know, he's never going to forget this, so uh, pop, pop. Yep. Oh, no, I mean, uh, Casey mentioned that the it's later episodes revealed some stuff. I wasn't sure if they no, they they, that kid they killed him. Or... Oh, fun! All right, yeah. Um, so the older brother tries to flee and escape. One of the the goons sees him and chases him down, but is hesitant to pull the trigger because minor fledgling kind of conscience kind of thing uh, because hey I'm about to gun down like a 10 year old <sighs> this job sometimes so little uh, the older brother gets away and he flees to Corteo who's like uh, okay this is, I'm like 10 uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we get like 7 years in the future and older brother is living as a tenant under some old ladies who let him know he has some post. It's a letter under his old name that he no longer uses because he's not an idiot. Uh, so it turns out someone sent him a letter 
telling him who the attackers were that night. Uh, and, hey, I want to help you get revenge. Of, and this is from a friend of your father's. Phone call. Yeah, I can mute that. Yeah. Um, so, he goes to see Corteo, who happens to live in the place that all of these uh people operate at because it's the oh god what was the name of the family i said it earlier vincetti i think vanetti was it vanetti yeah 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 Yeah. it was three people from the vanetti crime family um and he's like hey i found out who killed my family so i'ma kill him he says to Corteo. <laughs> or, hmm. I found out who kills my family, so. We're not doing got... that! <laughs> <laughs> I got Taste to get revenge down. on <laughs> on those dudes who offed my family, so, you know. You know what? Yeah. Except for the last part sounding vaguely Eastern European, that wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was. The, okay. the sub is a little less blunt about it. He basically tells the chemist guy he has a job for him. And when the guy's like, okay, what's the job? He's he's like, no, just trust me, though. We're brothers, right? Uh, I don't... I might... Be... Like I say, I watched the entire show, so I might be misremembering mis- certain events as they happened. But like, he's, he's like, yeah, so you make booze? This is pretty good. Yeah, you could probably do this for like a job or something. <laughs> I'll stop with the accent. Uh, Please don't. <laughs> so, um... Uh, older brother who's going by oh god what was his name Aurelio Bruno something Aurelio I think it was Emilio Bruno or something yeah something like that uh, so he goes to try and help uh, Corteo sell his booze to a local bar on a little tiny little island uh, as part of the city of Lawless in Illinois which I don't know whether is a real city because I didn't check uh, <clears throat> and they go to this bar, and the guys at the bar are like, <laughs> no, basically. Like, there's another group that's also trying to sell their wares to this bar, and are not being especially successful either. And they're wearing stupid fake mustaches. <laughs> Like, you want kind of ridiculous 1920s facial hair. That's, yeah. Um, and while there are negotiations going on and Corteo and Aurelio are starting to make progress, some other dudes show up uh, looking for... Oh, God, what was his name? I've been hearing his name. Nero Vanetti. Thank you. I've been hearing his name for like past six hours of watching the show. Um, they're looking for him uh, because the Orca family are kind of pissed that the Vanetti family are running booze across the border, which is supposed to be an Orca family uh, business. Then, uh, you know, the Venetis can make bathtub moonshine, but that's. They don't get actual legit alcohol from places that are allowed to make it because prohibition was stupid. Just saying. It's not exactly uh, controversial. It's not viable. Sorry? It's not viable. It's not stupid. Alcohol is literally poison, but. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, when 90. 9% 9% of the world says alcohol is okay, just one country saying <laughs> no is kind of sad. 
Yeah. Thanks for, for failure. Thanks for burying national history that you already knew was stupid. Well, you know, I, I'm I'm British and we don't <laughs> study American history at all. Except uh, they might have helped out in the world wars a little, I guess. Kind of thing. So, you know. <laughs> uh, that stiff upper lip is right there to say fuck you also, is what it's for. <laughs> so, um, where were we? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, oh, God, what was his name? I want to say Farco. Something like that. Um, yeah, it sounds like that, yeah. Yeah, he's the new hitman for the Orca family, and he's like, hey, uh, give me this Nero guy, uh, because I'm going to kill him. He's not exactly subtle about it. Uh, so he calls over Corteo, who he decides, you're probably Nero. You'll do. He's just going to start randomly killing people until he gets the right one. He doesn't really care. So. Yeah, which... Yeah, that's a consistent part of his character. He sticks around for a while. Um, oh, really? Yeah, it's actually pretty interesting. Um, so, uh, Aurelio uh, volunteers and says, Hey, I'm Nero because Corteo's about to die. And he kind of doesn't want that. I say kind of because that gets spotty as well. Um long story short a uh, gunfight breaks out everyone's kind of freaking out the dude with the little tiny corner mustache thing hides behind the bar with uh, our two sort of protagonists and Corteo starts mixing up uh, paraffin wax in a bottle so that you know uh, he can just throw it out like all the other bottles people are throwing that Dumbass is just shooting out of the air for no reason. I mean, the guy's kind of crazy. He's just having fun with it. So yeah. it makes sense that he's using the things they're trying to kill him with as, you know, project. Uh, L- listen, listen, guys. Listen, guys. If you enjoy what you do, you never work a day in your life. And I that suppose guy. that's fair. I mean, yes. I can't really argue with that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, they throw the bottle of paraffin and dumbass shoots it and oh and now i'm on fucking fire is that what he said no that's not what he said (laughs) but it just really reminded me of that scene uh so they kind of leave and uh so do the protagonists and dumbass mustache guys who it turns out are wearing fake mustaches go figure um, and they reveal that yeah, this guy with the pointy beard that was actually real. Um, uh, he's Nero. Also, we have another third guy who got the shit beat out of him, and kind of just spends the rest of the show getting the shit beat out of him at every opportunity. At least, did he live? I don't want to know. Hold on, don't tell me. Yeah, you don't want to know the answer to that kind of question, because that's part of the interesting part of the show. Um. So yeah, I think that's pretty much where the episode ends. And it, when you just go play by play of all the events, it actually sounds kind of dull, but it's not. No, like, not really. Like it's pretty outstanding. Like it's neatly done. Like none of this stuff actually drags. So it gets what it needs to get out. Yeah, it's it's a weird thing, now that I think about it, just based on summarizing the events of the episode. Because, if you think about it, not that much happens in the first episode. But you don't notice that, because you're actually kind of engaging with the characters. Which is kind of nice. Enough happens to keep you interested, and the characters are interesting enough in themselves that I was interested in them as well. Like, I was invested in their story. Yeah. I will say, protagonist Aurelio, whatever his real name was, uh, I've forgotten. The blue hair or the the dark skin one? Blue hair. Okay, yeah. Uh, They seem to have him in the Sasuke style of revenge-driven character mode, where he's just kind of completely charismaless. 
Oh. Which... Uh, like, I, I get the impetus of, hey, this character is dead inside, and so is completely just shut off emotionally, so doesn't really engage very well with people. But I feel like if you're that driven for revenge, you would learn to fake it. Well, yeah, no, no, that makes sense. I mean, you, you do what you have to to get by, basically. Yeah. And everyone around you is a tool for your revenge, so you learn how to use them. Yeah, is 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 the logic I would have used, and maybe had him be a bit more of a, an active character in terms of his uh, uh, charisma and actually getting along with people. They went in a different direction. I'm going to say, by the end of the show, it kind of works. Yeah. Like, they didn't go full Sasuke. He's not constantly raging at the world in massive, ongoing, wild speeches about his despair and anguish and things like that. He plays it pretty low-key, and I appreciate that. Um... It's paced a little weirdly in the first couple of episodes. Because it's like, hey, I've got this list of people that I need to deal with because I got to rub them out because, you know, they killed my families. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to ask no. you that every time you break out that accent. No, they didn't say... Like, they do... Okay, they do use a lot of that kind of period slang. Good. A lot of it. Should. Like, this is why the dub is so much superior to the sub in this case, because Japanese just does not have that kind of cultural flavor for this kind of thing. It doesn't have the context. There is no comparison in Japanese to actually make this kind of thing work. Not really. I mean, I've heard, what, Osaka is kind of southern-ish? And that's about the only one-to-one translation i can i've heard that's of. that's probably also not a an exact comparison but it's just the easiest one to draw yeah but, uh, i've always taken it to mean it's kind of a lazy drawl yeah, and so that's I mean, what they equate it to yeah um and also with the stereotype of being just a little bit slower than those great tokyo natives i suppose yeah yeah um, uh, oh, sorry. sorry. I will say the um, the setting certainly helped this. It's such a new setting that I just wanted to see more things happening. So even if the characters or the plot was slower in certain parts here and there, I I was still interested. Yeah. Um, yeah. They seem they seem invested in trying to be authentic in the story they were trying to tell. Like, I don't know how it came across in Japanese, but in the English, they really went all out in getting the language right, getting the accents right. I mean, then, I can't. I I don't think they used any any slang in the in the subtitles, but I wasn't really watching for that, so they might have. I doubt it though. Switching from sub to dub right now. Yeah, but um. In the visuals and, like, the story structure, I suppose. Like, there is a point in the story where the main character has to leave town. Uh, like, sort of, kind of gets run out of town. And there is a bit of a road trip segment, American movie style, where they're just traveling across the country for a while. And get chased by a giant Mexican, but that's kind of that sounds idea. awesome. Uh, yeah, it was, it was. I kept making machete jokes in my head. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. Um, I'll watch the shit out of this later. Yeah, so they they seem to be pretty authentic in it. Like, um, I'm just kind of repeating myself at this point. It's it's well put together, and they they put a lot of effort making it seem authentic in the Japanese side, and that seems to have really caught on and carried over to the dub for it. And I appreciate that a lot when they actually put in the extra effort to do 
that kind of thing. Like, I'm not sure. I'm not so sure I was as keen on it for like JoJo, where they tried. Okay, let's have everyone do like Italian accents because half of the cast are Italian. Oh, that didn't go as great, but you know, it happens. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything last minute that's really worth bringing up? No, watch the show. Basically, yeah. is, is where I am with that. Just like this is a a pretty good. We've gotten so lucky over the past few weeks. Stop mentioning it. This is about to end because I'm back, baby. This isn't just decent, and we think it's good because we've had a row of a lot of shit on the show. This is actually a legitimately good anime, and I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, we've had a good run, so our expectations are actually kind of high right now. Mine aren't. Okay, can't you? <laughs> this could, a, this a, could, a, this could miserable be, shit. But. This could end at any moment, and you all know it. Yeah, but now we've had it for like three weeks straight, so I'm like, okay. This show is still good, even based on that. All right, this is actually a pretty good show. So, yeah, recommendation from someone who has watched the whole thing. It is a pretty satisfying show to watch. If a little stale in the Japanese approach to how revenge works. Outstanding. Yeah. All right, well... Ready to decide your fate? I am no one to judge, but I do decide your fate. Kill him slow. I just watched that last night. Like, that exact episode of the movie. I watched that last night. Damn you. Getting fucking claptrap for that shit was great. All right. Uh (laughs) (laughs) All right. 11. 11? That's uh, K. The best letter. Pretty good. Without K. Without K, there'd be no Kenshi. Be no Casey either. Uh, One four eight. Alright. Wait, you spell Casey with a K? It's my initials. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Thirty five. Please don't suck. 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 Slicer, I need this to not suck. Okay. It would be nice if it didn't. But I don't have high hopes. I don't either after having looking at the title. Okay, it has a it has a dub, so it got enough in, interest for that, I suppose. That means nothing. What is it called? Kanazuki no Miko. Or Princess of... Uh, Priestess of something, something, something. Hang on. Uh, Priestesses of the Goddess Month. You know what? Who knows? Who knows? We've had a good run. Uh, synopsis. There is a small town somewhere in Japan which is surrounded by nature. In this town, there is a large and gorgeous school. <sighs> okay. I... That's strike one. Yeah, we've had three weeks without a fucking school setting. I, I was spoiled. Um, Otobashi Gakuen. Which is Otobashi High School. You really didn't need to... Okay, whatever. Uh, Which was founded to make the students familiar with nature. This story starts off with... (laughs) Why is there a robot in the background? (laughs) Oh, God. Starts off with Kurosagawa Himiko. She is a normal student who goes to Otobashi School. Fucking weeaboos. She leads bright and enjoyable school days with her two friends Himikawa Chikane and Ugami Soma Chikane. Oh, there's... We'll stop there. Uh, Chikane is the only daughter of a distinguished family. She excels at both academics and sports. She is also kind and beautiful, and everyone loves her, and there is no problems in her life whatsoever. Mary Sue, Mary Sue. Strike two. Making her very popular among the other students. Oh, I actually said that part. I I was... uh. (laughs) I should have kept reading. I I filled it in for them without even realizing it. Uh, Ogami Soma is Himiko's childhood friend. He has problems expressing his emotions directly, but he is very sincere. 
Strike three. On Himiko's 16th birthday, a dark moon blocks out the sun. Oh, fucking Christ. And the Orochi come forth to destroy the world, but why are they, dis- they targeting Himiko? Does she control robots? I don't know. Anyone want to veto this one? Uh, there aren't enough people to group veto it, and it's the first of the, of the year. I really don't want to use my group my veto for this. <sighs> Good times had to end eventually. Uh, I, mean, yeah. I mean, think about it like this. Think about how many shows are in this list. And three weeks in a row, you got something good. What are the chances of that? Oh, I'm not man. good at... I don't know how many shows are in this, so I can't give you numbers. But got to tell you, it's a minuscule chance that you would have gotten that. But you did. Well, that's a good sign of that comment. It's the first comment. Let me let me give you a transcript. I don't want to. I don't... Wow. I already, I see line it. by line. <laughs> It says, love it so much that it made me cume with <laughs> one finger up my butthole. Great, uh, less than three. Less than three. Well, that's certainly a thing. I'm so confused. Someone really likes cumin. I respect that. It's a good spice. <laughs> Uh, okay, that spoiler, 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 spoiler comment went an interesting turn pretty quickly. Uh, hmm. Okay. This is gonna be bad. Okay. This is gonna be bad. Okay. Oh. Uh, at this point, I am actually just want to see it. <laughs> see how garbage it is. You're not going to get to the point that the comment is mentioning Slicer. Oh, God, no. But I can see it start to stink in, probably. All right. So that's what we're doing next. All right. Looks like I got to bury this show next week. I should have I saved it. the fucking 91 days and just had it as like a palate cleanser for after next week. Yeah, yeah. but you didn't because you have no patience or control. I don't. At least, at least that means that the show will be off the list because if we just vetoed it, it just goes back on. So Yeah, that's true. But there's a chance that more stuff would fill out that list so we might not have had to watch this later. <clears throat> that's It's true. I mean... Depends. All right. Well, that's the thing we're watching next week. And the good times will end. And maybe maybe it'll be so bad we can laugh at it. I'm trying to remember the slogan for Devil Survivor because it seems apropos at the moment. Was it something like, good days are over, let's survive or something? Mm. <sighs> Thanks for listening, everybody. Go watch 91 Days. It's really good. Yeah. You're going to watch this because it's going to be, you know, really not. Probably. Probably not good. Mm. The assumption can safely be made, but we might be surprised. We're not going to, but we might. Hey, everybody. See ya. Bye.